Alrighty, boys, it is another beautiful day in Brookhaven, and I am currently headed to the grocery store. I need to stock up as I'm kind of running low on food in my house. And jeez, bro, what in the world? Why is the road all messed up? They got leaks coming out the road. That is not okay. Oh, my goodness. And barrels on fire. I really don't know what that's about, but it is what it is, I guess. And dang, bro, look at the grocery store. Is it even open? Everything's so run down lately. I don't get it, man. Anyways, let me head in the grocery store really fast and grab what i need all right let me get the doritos definitely some pizza water and milk gotta get my fruits in obviously <laughs> and that should be good all righty he just said yo by the way wait what the heck the grocery store guy's talking to me check if some of the stuff is expired check if it's expired isn't it illegal to sell expired stuff he just said we didn't receive any products for a while bro what the heck what kind of grocery store is this he said yeah but we can't do anything oh um i'll just take my chances i guess but that's kind of weird. Not sure if I'll ever come back here. He said, the city's too run down. Suppliers don't bother delivering here anymore. Oh my goodness, man. That's such a shame. And I just said it. I said, wow, that's horrible. He said, that'll be all. I'm going to say, yep, that's everything. And there you go. He's punching it in for me. I'm going to say, uh, what's the cause of all this though? Brookhaven used to be so beautiful. And he said, the new president. Wait, what? He doesn't do anything. Uh-huh. He said, just put his money in his pocket and stay at his house. He said, it's weird because the elections are coming up. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. He said, you would try to fix everything and be so helpful for people vote for you again, but he does the complete opposite. He said, hopefully a new president replaces them. Okay, and what's this current president called? He said, maybe you could try being one. <laughs> he said, he's called Walter. Walter, interesting. I'm gonna say, well, thanks for the info, man. That's interesting. I hope things can get better. He said, you're welcome, anytime. And hopefully your stuff hasn't expired. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Oh, well, that's interesting, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I do find that pretty weird. Weird. This president really did make this town run down. Look at this place, man. It looks so miserable now. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of embarrassing. I didn't know who the president was, but I'm just really not into politics and stuff, especially Brookhaven politics. Anyways, let me get going now. Alrighty, and wait a minute. What in the world? I'm not gonna lie, this kind of wait, wait, what does that say? President Walter. Guys, that's the president. He said, You told me to drive slow, sir. Oh, the president was talking trash. He said, Took you enough to drive here. And he said, Yeah, yeah, excuses. Yo, what the heck? This is the president right here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just park right here, guys, because I kind of want to see what's going on. I probably shouldn't be spying on the president, but I just kind of want to watch. Right, I'm gonna just act like I'm just standing here and, and see what he's saying. He said, so, the elections are gonna be set up here? He said, basically, yes. And he said, I see. Let's clean this place then. He said, but until now, it's only you and the elections. No one wants to compete. Oh, then no need. Wait a minute, guys. That makes sense now. He said, let it stay dirty. Yo, that's so messed up. But guys, it all makes sense. The reason why the president's not trying is because he has no competition. He doesn't care to even try because is who's gonna vote him out if there's no one to vote for it's only him he said but people leave the city like that and he said but i don't care he said we did nothing since you were president sir he said we did nothing since you sir was the president he said they can leave it and it'll only be me and he said keep it that way or you will get fired not our fault bro this guy is so messed up he said my sincere apology sir let's go back to the town hall now and i guess they're gonna go back guys you know what i know this sounds insane i know i'm really young i know i'm not that smart but i'm gonna run for president i don't care what it takes i love brookhaven and i can't watch the city just get like ruined and man look at it even the bank is boarded up oh my goodness the bank, the Rockstar clothing, the Starbrooks, everything is just ruined. And I won't lie, this city does feel like a ghost town now. That makes sense why it's so empty. Everybody moved out. All right, you know what? I don't know exactly how to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and head to the town hall right now and see if I can apply to run for president. Alrighty, and here I am. Oh gosh, the president's here right now, but it's fine. I can do whatever I want. I mean, it's not illegal to run for president. All right, anyways, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and walk in. And where do I even go? Uh, vote. Voting. Maybe over here. And oh wait, that's the guy who works for the president. Some guy named Elliot. He said, hello there, sir. Uh, I'm gonna say, hey, Mr. Elliot. How can I help you today? Um, well, I know this sounds kind of crazy, but I want to run for president. Oh gosh, I can't believe I just said that. He said, sure thing. He said, just fill out the form and all good. Oh, wait, wait, what form? And oh, okay, I got it. All right, cool. He said, elections will start at 5th of February. Okay. He said, you have six days. He said, only you and the current president will be in the election. All right, so it's just me versus him. He said, good luck. All right, we filled this form. I hand it back to him. And uh, I guess I'll get started. And form's done. There you go, sir. And oh gosh, President Walter's here. He said, interesting. I have high hopes for you, Mr. Tap. Thank you, sir. And what the heck? President Walter just said, someone trying to become president. Ha ha, you will fail, buddy. And he said, there he is again. 
no one knows you. I'm gonna say no one may know me, but no one likes you. He said, and you're just a kid. I am not just a kid, guys. He said, that will make a difference. So he admit that no one likes him. He said, I'll force people to vote for me. It's easy. I'm gonna say that is illegal and you know it. He said, hmm, no cops are in town though. I can do whatever I want. Oh yeah. We'll see about that. He just said, listen kid, take your PJs and go to bed if you don't want trouble. Trust me, it won't end good. I'm gonna say, oh, I want all the trouble. Bring it on. He said, all right, then blame no one besides yourself, loser. Spits? What the? Okay. All right, that's it. This guy's going down. Now Elliot just said, whoa. I'm gonna say, see you around, Elliot. He said, you better win this, sir. Oh, I will. All right, look. Not gonna lie, if I wanna be president, I need to look the part, all right? I love my drip, but I wanna put a suit on. That way people know I'm serious. I'm gonna go ahead to the clothing store right now and get something. And oh, wait. I just remembered that the Rockstar clothing is literally shut down. It's boarded up because this town is so run down. Oh, my goodness. All right, you know what? I think I might have something at home. I'm gonna just head there and see if I can get something out of my closet. But all righty, here we are. Oh my goodness, boys. I can't believe I'm a presidential candidate. I could literally become the president. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the suit. Before I do that, I'm gonna write a list of things I need to do to make sure I win this, okay? Let me get my clipboard. All right, got it. All right, step one, I need to get a suit, all right? I need to look convincible. I need to look presentable. Step two, I wanna go meet people around the town and see what's important for them as a president. Step three, I'm gonna set up signs everywhere that say vote for tap. Step four, I'll do the final presidential debate. And step five, win the election. Election. All right, boys, let's get started. First things first, I need the suit. All right, let me go to my closet right now. I need to get some dressed up outfits. All right, and here we are. Let's see what I can find. All righty, boys, how do I look? I got the all black suit on, a little white undershirt, and a black tie. I think I look pretty fresh. It's currently becoming dark out, so I'm gonna get some rest, wake up early tomorrow, and I'll start step two of the plan, which is meet people around the town. Good night, boyos. All right, I'm up bright and early right now. The sun is starting to rise and it is time to get to work. Oh my goodness, I am excited. I have a long day ahead of me. All right, so I need to go meet people around this town. Obviously, I want to figure out what the general consensus is like. Does everybody hate this current president? I mean, what do they want for in a president? I need to know that kind of stuff. All right, um, right, let's see where I should go first. Maybe I'll hit the diner so I need to get food anyways. It's probably the best idea. And oh, is it even open? Oh my goodness, it's all boarded up, man. Let's go inside to find out though. All right, here we are. Are. Brooks Diner. Oh, God. I haven't been here in so long. And then, yo, there's an employee. Some guy named Vector. And he said, hey. I said, hey, Vector. How's it going? Uh, how can I help you? I'm going to say, let me get uh, chicken wings. I'll sit right here. He said, okay. Alrighty, boys. Well, sitting down here now. And gosh, look at this diner. It's all boarded up and like the boards are coming inside. This is horrible. I'm waiting to make my food, obviously, but I'm going to ask him some questions about this and see what the reasoning is. Not going to lie. I'm pretty sure I already know what it is, but I want to make it super, super clear. Guys, I'm telling you, one way or another, I'm going to fix Brookhaven. I don't care if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to do it. And oh, here are my wings, Vector. I'm going to say thank you so much, sir. He said, you're welcome. Oh, uh, wait, uh, Mr. Vector. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, what's the deal with the boarded up windows? He said, oh, it's because the repairman left the city ever since that Walter guy became president. Oh my goodness, bro. Back to him. Interesting. All right, so how do you feel about this president? He said, I don't like him at all. I want another president, but it's only him I can vote for, so I have to deal with this. I wish another president would show up. <laughs> I'm gonna say, well, 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 do I have good news for you? He said, uh, what? You're gonna repair my shop and give me fresh food? <laughs> and I said, I'm running for president. He said, oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna say, yes, my plan is to fix this city. I've seen how everything is messed up so many stores are closed so many stores are run down i'm going to fix this all and he said yeah most stores are closed because of him well i'm gonna say listen to me my name is president tap and he said well if you really mean what you say then you have my vote perfect <laughs> you will not regret it sir he said i sure hope so i'm gonna say all right well have a good day all right boys i'm out of here and let's go he said you too president tap guys i got my first vote this is awesome obviously he didn't vote for me yet but he said i have his vote so that basically means i'll have a vote when he does dude this is sick okay okay look it seems as though i completed step two okay literally everyone thinks that this current president walter is horrible so now it's time for step three 
I'm going to set up signs everywhere that say vote for Tap. And you see, the problem right now is too, people don't even know that I'm a candidate. People think he's the only option to vote for. So if they even find out that I exist, I'll get so many votes. And there you go, boys. First sign up. Vote for President Tap. I'm going to start putting these everywhere. Let's go, boys. I'm winning this election, guys. I'm telling you, look, I know right now it's hard to imagine, but I'm going to win this. All right. I know I will. I'm going to start putting these all around the city and then it'll be time for step four. All righty. They're basically everywhere now, to be honest. Oh, one in front of the school so the students know. <laughs> and there you go. They are now all around. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even know how many I put down, bro. I put down a lot. I'm going to win this, boys. I'm telling you. All right. Step four is the presidential debate. And oh, it's Monday. That means this is the night. All right. Now, if you guys don't know what the presidential debate is, basically, every time there's a president, the top two candidates, in which this case, there's only two, will have a debate where people can ask questions and the presidents will answer how they'll fix their problem. So it's time to get ready for that. That starts at 6 p.m. All right, so I should probably prepare my speech. I'm going to mention three things. One, how I'm going to clear up the city. Two, how I'm going to give people free houses to move back. And three, no more taxes. <laughs> if I have those three things, I'm sure they'll vote for me. All right, and now I'll meet you guys at the debate. All righty, boys, I'm on my way to the election. And boy, am I nervous, but it's okay. I'm going to win this. And oh, look, the president's limo is here. It's all right, just act cool. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. I'm President Tap, and I got this. All righty, and here we are. Let me get backstage. Perfect. And oh gosh, he's talking to me. He just said, you will lose, kiddo. Give up already. Ugh, I'm gonna say I won't lose. No one will vote for you. Now that they have me, I will win. He said, whatever. Stay on the other side already. All right, if you say so. All right, boys, it's starting soon. Here we go. And oh my goodness, bro. This thing is empty. <laughs> we got Elliot, which I'm pretty sure he likes me. Vector, I know he likes me. And some guy named Dan. I never met that guy. I'm going to say hello, everyone. Hello, sir. And Vector said, hey. President Walter said, hello, fellow citizens. Yeah, fellow. Sure. Uh, Mr. Elliot, are you supposed to be up here uh, mediating the debate? He said, oh, yes. My bad, sir. Uh, thank you. He said, ahem, ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day where the election starts. And Vector said, woo. He said, between two of the best, Mr. Tap and Mr. Walter. And I said, thank you. We shall hear what everyone will provide for us now. And oh, uh, Danny moved over here, so now it's more even. He said, woo! May the best win. You go first, Mr. Walter. And all right, here he is in the middle. He said, so, my fellow citizens. He said, as you know, ever since I was voted president, Brookhaven has been so great. Uh, that is definitely not true. And Danny said, yeah, right. <laughs> and he said, shut up. Yo, what the heck? He said, never was. Bro, the president should not be saying shut up to his citizens. Not gonna lie, this guy is definitely has a bad look. He said, hey, fellow citizens. And oh, he said, uh, you should vote for me because I will make it even greater and make the best city in town and provide everything you guys need. I'm going to say, President Walter, if that was the case, why haven't you done it thus far? He said, Andy, get $100 for voting for me. Bro, what? He said, shut up. Not your turn to talk. I'm going to say, wow, unprofessional, sir. He said, so vote for me, guys. He said, Mr. Tap, you will get your time to talk when he's done. Okay, please let him finish. He said, I'm done here. All right, good. Now that he's done, I can actually say the truth. He said, President Tap, it's your time to shine now. Oh, perfect. I'm going to say hello, citizens of Brookhaven. As you all know, the last four years haven't been the best. He said, we're the worst. Since this new president was elected, things have shut down, became worse quality, etc. I believe this was due to him having no competition. He felt like he could do whatever he wanted and it didn't matter. But I'm here to change that. I will be personally cleaning the city. And Vector said, ooh, I'm going to give people houses to move back since everybody moved out of here. And I will require no one to pay tax. He said, lies. No one does this. I did all that. Duh. I'm going to say you quite literally did the opposite. I even saw when you said that it doesn't matter if the city's dirty because you had no competition. <laughs> and Danny said, for real. He said, yeah, yeah, all lies. <laughs> he said he was the worst. He said, looks like Tap is better. He said, Tap already has my vote. And he said, what? What do you mean? He's a liar. <laughs> no, I'm not. He's a child. I'm going to say that's a lie. I am not 
not a child. I am well over the age of 18. He said, no need to continue to talk. I vote for tap. He said, oh, that was fast. He said, well, we will discuss the voting thing for now to see who won. We'll be back in two minutes. And the curtains are closing. <laughs> well, boys, let's be honest. We know who won here. I'm pretty sure it's me. He said, so. President Walter said, ugh. To be honest, this is no competition. He said, this kid won't win, obviously. He said, I've never seen something like this. And I said, well, now you have. And oh, he's getting a phone call, I guess. He said, even on the website. He said, well, we will hear the winner now. And oh, the cards are coming back up, boys. I wonder who it is. He said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the elections today. And the president for Brookhaven for 2024 will be... Come on, come on. He said, me, obviously. I'm going to say, no, not you, Walter. Mr. Dot 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 Bro, what's up with the suspense? Tap! Hey! Thank you all! Thank you! Thank you! He said won by 3.2 million votes! Oh my goodness, it feels amazing. I'm gonna say you will not regret this, everyone. Together, we will make Brookhaven amazing. Trust me. He said, woo! President Tap, let's go! He said rigged! Votes are rigged! I'm gonna say not rigged. You're just a bad president. He said President Tap for life! <laughs> Alright, boys well i have much more work to do now that i'm president i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one peace